Welcome to Spin Town, Spin Town, Creepers in the Blue and Gold. Spin Town, Spin Town, the Grim Reaper's gonna get your soul. In the cobble pit you get your soul, don't even try resisting in Spin Town. Spin Town! This just doesn't seem safe using these portals. I mean, no, who inspects these things to make sure they're working properly? And I'm in another fortress. Wow, that's convenient. Oh, not convenient. Not convenient at all. And what? Oh my gosh. Spawner? Okay. Yeah, this, this is... I don't know if this is good or bad. It could be very bad. Do these things even spawn like skeletons in the daytime or are they deactivated? Not work. Nope, they definitely work. <laughs> okay, this is not good. Uh, die, <laughs> please. All right. This isn't so bad. We got this. We got th oh, they're fighting each other. That's perfect. We'll let them fight, and I'll fight you. And man, I need a new mouse. This just oh, okay. Wow, I'm way too low now. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Eat real quick. That's one reason I don't PVP a whole lot right now. Just because my mouse sucks and it keeps releasing my like arrow before I'm ready. All right, let's get this guy. Stick and move, stick and move. Man, he couldn't shoot it. He's having bow issues as well. Okay, oh, oh, I'm low, I'm low. Miss, miss, no, he didn't miss. Gotta run, gotta go. See you later. Whoa, that was close. Right over my shoulder. I was at one heart. That, that would have killed me. All right. Just, oh, no, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Not ready. Time out. Time out. Stop pointing your damn bow at me. That's right. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Dodge, dodge. Ha. And the guy in the all gold won the fight up there. So hopefully he's weak, but you know what? I, I need to eat first. Just, just be safe. Hopefully I can just like one hit him. Nope. The horsey. This guy's like totally suited and booted, man. He's looking good in that gold, man. Oh, man, he wasn't weak at all. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. Or maybe that was an arrow he just shot down there. <laughs> oh, I should have at least saved the horse. God damn it. All right, step one complete. Got a squid that spawned in my little pool. And, oh, he's right in the middle. He's right in the middle. Stop it. There, okay. Now I'll get on this side, and oh, oh, he is too fast. He's getting out. Um, I should probably just go ahead and put up the wall on this end a little bit. Oh, he's back. He's back. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now I need to block off the other side. Nope. Don't try to get out again. All right. Which way are you going? Oh, let me hurry up. No. Okay. Uh, can't let him get out of the middle. I'm going to funnel him towards the moat. There we go. Okay, I think this is going to work, guys. My squid trap is, if, well, it's not a success yet until I actually get him in the moat and then into the aquarium. But we're making progress. Definitely more progress than I made with the fucking lead. Did not know they would not work at all on squids. You can attach a lead to a squid, but you cannot drag him wherever you want. <laughs> Can't even drag him through the water. So, all right. We went from having the squid in this giant pool now to this little narrow channel. And we will keep funneling him in that direction. So now we don't want him to back up anymore, so let's hurry up and there we go. His pool just got even smaller. Alright. For fuck's sake, we just go towards the moat. It's not that hard. I'm the one doing most of the work here. Let's be honest. There we go. Perfect. No, he's turning. Okay. Alright. A little bit of progress, but you're still going the wrong way now. Turn around. They, yep, yep, no. Oh, so close. Can I push you? Please go. Get out of the block. And okay, go, 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 go. Stop it. Oh my god. 
Okay, my trap works, but squids are just insanely stubborn, apparently. My donkeys aren't this stubborn. Here we go. Oh, come on. All you gotta do is go one or two blocks in that direction. This, yeah, come on. If I just clear this out a little bit more, I don't know. I mean, I can't use the lead on him. I don't know what to do. I can't really push him well. Yeah, that, that, that's not a good idea. Okay. Uh. Please go down the hole. I promise you, I built a nice aquarium. You'll like it. Hey, look at this. Won't work at all. Oh, and now it works. Nope, it doesn't. See? <laughs> he just goes wherever he wants still. Leads are worthless on squids. <sighs> Come on. I gotta put this thing down. I got a fence post on me. Yep. Yep. I don't know. If you can drop a lead another way, I, I, I don't know what it is. Oh, he went in! Oh, yes. Okay, keep going. Don't turn around. No, don't turn around. You're not going back out. It took you forever to get there. Okay. Officially named Inky. I didn't want to name you until I was sure I was not going to murder you in anger. Now we're just going to break a little hole in the aquarium, and you can just swim right in. Come on. It, it's really nice, I promise. And you're going to have... At least two friends I will bring in there later. You're the first. You can pick out your room before anybody else. Come on. I had trouble getting him to go like two blocks, so this might take a while to get him to go all the way down this little moat. <laughs> ah, man. I did not think it was going to be this hard to get a squid. That's And I built next to the water like this for this reason. I knew I was going to try to get all the different kinds of animals in my barn. And I figured, you know, if I just build right next to a water source, squids will be no problem. And it's not, it's not really hard. It's just they drag their ass about going anywhere. <laughs> I think all these squids are women in this game. They're all female. We go. He's in. Well, sort of. Go all the way. A little bit more. There we go. Done. Got him. Two more to go. Hello. Clyde, I gotta tell you, you were a lot easier to corral than Inky was. But go on in. Enjoy your new aquarium. One more to go. Don't do it. I told you. Now, these guys aren't gonna trick me this time. I know they're all gonna spawn. I'm ready. There we go. And I gotta make sure I shoot them off the horses. Oh, bad. it's gonna be hard to shoot them when they're pelting me. So I'm gonna get far away. And out. Let me in my freaking village. Okay. I'm just gonna eat. And then I'm going to snipe them right off the horses. So I can keep the horses. And I can give one to Jack and one to Emily. And still have two for the barn. Javier is traveling at the moment, and not really playing Minecraft, of course, since he's traveling, so here we go, one horsey down. He will not get one of these, unfortunately, but I might get more and give him one at another time. I need to get a saddle. Third and final squid almost there. I'm going to be so glad I can fix my swamp up after this and get rid of that ugly squid trap I made. Although it did work. The first squid was a pain in the butt, but... Next two weren't nearly as bad, and I can probably get as many squid as I want using it, and it works pretty well. But I gotta name this guy. I've already. Okay. So, where's Inky? That's Clyde. Inky is one. There's Inky. So, you're the unnamed one, and you will be Blinky. So, Inky. Blinky and Clyde. 
All right, hopefully this one has something of value in it. God damn mouse. I, I need to look on the wiki because I don't know if witches huts do have anything worth getting in them usually. I just know the other two I found, or, or I've been to, Jack actually found uh, the others. Uh, but there was nothing in it. It was just a cauldron, basically, and that looks like all that's in this one. Crap. Uh, okay, this sucks. This is a cool-looking village, but in 10 years it'll be underwater thanks to global warming. Jeez. I wouldn't want to build here. Ah, finally. Jeez, this is a long trip. But you know what? I'm just glad that Jack was able to find this because one of the things that we have been looking for and just haven't been able to find yet was an ice biome. I need to be able to get some ice with my like silk touch pick and obviously we want bears for the barn. And if I find anything really cool here, I'm not going to take it. I mean like a village or a temple, which I don't know if they have ice temples or anything. I have no idea. But I would leave that for Jack and anything in it. I'm just here for mostly ice and a bunny rabbit. Or bears! Oh, man. Took like no time at all. Um, I don't know anything about them. Can I lead them, though? I, I do know that I can't get between a mommy bear and a baby bear. So we're going to stay on this side of mommy. And... Man, it would be awesome if I can get both bears in one trip. Because this was, it took a really long time just to, like, run and boat out here. This is going to take... Oh, gosh. I bet it takes hours to just lead this bear back to the barn this far out. But, yeah. Making one trip would be great. I don't want to have to come back and do this again. So we're cool so far. Mommy, I'm staying on this side of mommy. Baby's, oh, whoa, hey, I'm away from your baby. I'm not getting between you. You need to calm yourself, woman. Okay, calm down. Nope. Okay, let's put the boat down. And, oh, okay. Man, you really want that front seat. It's like, get the fuck out of the way. I want in that boat. But how do I get in there and how do I move the boat now that you're both in there can I like put this on you and I know I cannot pull you in the boat with the lead ow ow okay drop the lead please drop okay oh god uh run okay drop 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 drop, drop the lead no oh, shit I'm gonna die because I tied myself to a bear it's the worst death ever okay we're out of here See ya, Mama Bear. I'm taking your baby. It's not kidnapping, right? Technically, bear napping. That's not against the law, I don't think. Mm. You know, for such a little bear, you make a lot of noise. I don't even know why you're whining anyways, mm. because, you know, sure, I took you from your mother, but yeah, I can teach you just as much as your mom could have. I mean, is she going to build you a super kick-ass pen to keep you in? Like, I will. I don't think so. You'd have to live out there with the mobs if you stayed with her. Who wants that? All right. I'd really appreciate it if you stopped growing until we got back to the barn because here soon you're probably going to be big enough to eat me. So just kind of hold off on... You know, any more growth spurts. That would be nice. And plus, it's going to be a lot harder to drag you through all these, like, forests and everything if you keep putting on this weight. I mean, come on. Be practical here. We got a long way to go still. Well, it wasn't the biggest swamp, but we were able to skip at least a little bit of uh, forest by cutting through it. And I'm doing my best not to, like, hit you when I do this. So just keep that. In oh, sorry. Again, tried not to. Total accident. Well, let's get going. Oh, Jesus. You're a fucking dick. You know that? You know when I hit you, it was an accident. That was fucking on purpose. You're not the only one getting grumpy and tired of trekking through these fucking swamps, you know. All right, now, before you go inside, I just want you to know I may have overhyped how awesome your pin is right now. 
But it, again, it's only a temporary pin. I promise I will build you something better. But for now, it's not all that amazing. But come on. You gotta be glad we're done at least going through the freaking woods, right? Okay, oh. I picked the wrong spot to dig in. But the pin should be like right here. I need to kill some rabbits because I still need to finish my meat supply and get rabbits feet so we'll have you guys reproduce and I need to kill at least one of you who wants to die who wants? and this guy is being really still so he volunteers easy to hit the inventory was full and, hmm. did he drop anything he didn't and what the fuck they, like escaping working as a team the guy just gave the one a boost over the wall i did not know they could do that probably shouldn't have murdered their friend right in front of them huh this is amazing <laughs> so cozy in here did it come with the bed and all this yeah i have not touched any of it well i slept in the bed once but i haven't actually altered it at all wow a little window and everything. Yep, that's it. Now well, that was thrilling. <laughs> Still haven't seen a bear. They must be a little bit rare, and I got lucky running into the first one. Yeah, it's only a, a while to find the bear. Um, I was looking around, going throughout the ice farm, so I came across a bear and said, "Hey, there's bears here." Finally, almost there. I imagine a polar bear could easily climb out of the fence and just murder everything in there. Don't tell them that. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't have an axe with me, so... Promise not to come out when I break this, Mr. Polar Bear. <laughs> Put the polar bears right next to the chicken. The bear could just reach over the fence and grab a chicken. <laughs> They're friends. They wouldn't do that. All right, um, I'll catch the lead for that. Break it. Pick those up. Oh, why won't I pick those up? There we go. All right. Now you guys, that's your temporary home. I promise it'll get better. <laughs> you just got to build the bigger one. This is not the climate they used to. No. Oh, do you want me to go get a name tag real quick? Uh, if you want to, you can. Okay. Um, just in case you ever keep rabbits, just so you know, they can jump a fence. So you have to make it too high. Found that out the hard way. Oh, okay. I'll put it in there went in there to kill a couple of them and all of a sudden they're hopping over the fence and running around with all the other animals. Alright, which one of you isn't named? There we go. Beautiful. What'd you name him again? Unbearable. Unbearable. Yep. <laughs> Unbearable and bipolar. Fantastic names. <laughs> <laughs> See, now this isn't so bad now, right guys? It's kind of cold, you got your own pool to swim in. The other animals don't have a pool. They don't have their own little cave either. So you guys got it pretty plush right here. Um, <laughs> oh, I guess it's <laughs> it's like a game. Oh, yeah, it's hot flesh. My baby. Ooh. Don't you know how to make a water dish? Is he alive? I can't... Now his ears are gone. And you can't see him. Oh my gosh, that's weird. Go, rabbits, don't try to get out. I'm gonna have to, like, empty the water dish to see if he's in there. I think he might be trapped. They do drown. Oh, I don't know if they drowned in, uh, pauldrons, because that's what he's in. I just put a... They do. ...in the ground. I see ears again. Now he was. I have a, a rabbit who can live underwater. No. No, seriously. I recorded it. He was just chilling I don't... underwater. Mm, weird. 
Oh, no, no, oh, oh, no. Shoot, I missed the water dish. I'm not sure to place it. He is, like, all the other rabbits are, like, scared stiff because I'm in the pen. So they're, like, trying to run around and get away. He is just super cool hanging out in his water dish. He's not even, like, trying to get away. Maybe I can lead him out with a carrot. Or a lead. <laughs> I don't have one of those on me, but I use carrots for food. He sees it. Oh, rabbit, get away. This is for the guy stuck in the dish. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to go get a lead because that's not a good one. This iron golem I put in my village is so annoying. He's killed my pigmen after I named them and everything. Then I captured new pigmen, put them in a, a pen with a higher fence, and he still freaking managed to climb in somehow and kill them as well. So I've wasted four name tags, and now he keeps getting stuck on the roof here of this building because it's got vines on it. I, I'm about to kill my iron golem myself. Thanks for watching today's video. If you didn't get enough spend time for today, you can click on this annotation right here to watch another recent video. There's a very small chance you can get a bonus death run video later tonight or tomorrow. No promises. But remember, there's a brand new video here every single Monday. So until next time, spin out.